In Tableau 22.1, Tableau have enhanced parameters even more. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you here is you can now add parameters to the output of a file. So here I'll go to this particular output. I just clicked out of it by mistake there. And you could already previously sort of use the parameter to control the destination folder. And that's what we've essentially got here. But now you've also got the ability to change the name of the file based on the region. Uh, in this case, I'm saying region because that's the parameter that I've set up. But if I go in here and I just select that, you'll see that my region parameter that I've set up is actually an optional parameter there. And I can append that to the file or I can add it as a prefix suffix, whatever you want to do. You can move it around in that file name area and you're now going to be able to output a file uh, based on that region that you've selected. This is handy if you're giving a parameter to users to be able to change something and you want that file to be marked with that particular sort of um, signifier that it's been changed in some way or form. And that's a really nice sort of touch. Um, the other thing you can do is also just add the parameter location. That doesn't really make sense. Normally you'd use one or the other, but that's sort of the first thing. You can now add that in. Now, the second thing is when you go to delete a parameter, you can now do this centrally. So let's take a look here. I've actually got the parameter in two places. You'll know that I've added it here, but I've also added it here as a filter. And so what we're going to do is try and delete the parameter and see how that comes up. So we'll go up here to the very top and you can see that I can do a couple of things. I can edit the parameter. The delete option isn't here. You actually have to go into the edit parameter options and right at the bottom over here, you've got the delete capability. So if we go ahead and delete that, it pops up a really nice interface that shows me, hey, look, um, if you're going to delete this, we're going to have to replace it with something. And at the moment, the default value is LATAM. So we're going to leave LATAM in place of that parameter. That's the first thing. But you can also view where in the flow you've got the parameter. So as you can see, it's correctly identified the two places where I have the parameter invoked. And it's highlighted them blue. It's sort of, um, it's faint. It's like a selection essentially on the canvas but it's really easy to see. And then when you go ahead and delete that, we'll go ahead and do that in here. Um, it will go ahead and remove those uh, items. So let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, now that it's done that, let's check there's no parameter. You can see there's no parameter here on the top left. And if I go to the output, you'll see that it inserted the term LATAM into the uh, region um, uh, space that we had before. So he says LATAM annual original performance. But more importantly, if we go to the filter here that we'd actually set up, we'd actually set up the uh, parameter in a very specific way. So what we had here, if I go to this particular step, you'll see that um, I actually set up this calculation and previously the calculation was checking against the parameter, but because that's been uh, removed, it's replaced it with LATAM. So the flow is still gonna work, but if you're using this um, in a sort of slightly different setup, you might need to go back in here and remove a couple of steps that maybe now no longer make sense because of course you might not want to filter the data because the parameters now have been removed. So now that's been restored, we'll go back to the output here. We'll restore this file name and we're pretty much good to go. I wish that was a little bit smarter, but I appreciate it's a hard problem to solve because they can't anticipate what you're going to want to do when the parameter is not there. So those are the sort of two really obvious enhancements. The other enhancement that uh, is sort of difficult to show you is that you can now invoke these parameters using the REST API. So when you use the REST API to run the flows, you can actually pass an argument to the parameter, which will mean that uh, flow will run with a specific parameter in mind. That's really nice. It's a really nice touch if you need to sort of do any automation with Tableau uh, in general. So that's uh, a really sort of really nice touch to the set of capabilities. And yeah, um, parameters keep on getting better. This is always what happens. Tableau introduce something new and they supplement it over time just to give us the slight edge that we want out of these features. So absolutely brilliant set of features. That's pretty much it for this video. Check out some of the other 22.1 features that I've already announced. And uh, we're on the march to 50,000 subscribers. If you're one of those people who's watching this video but not yet subscribed, join the family, help us reach that target. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.